Creality has made a new 3D scanner called SR Scan Ferret. Before I start scanning, I will show what comes with the scanner. The scanner comes with a case which feels and looks nice. It makes it very convenient to carry around. The first thing in the case is user manual, snail gimbal to connect scanner to handle, phone holder if you want to scan with your phone, handle with rechargeable power bank and you can use it as a tripod also, and the scanner. Last thing in the case are cables, which are for connecting scanner with your phone or PC. There are two options to use it with phone or PC. First I will try to scan using my phone. Setting up the scanner is easy and I don't take much time. Phone cable is the smaller one with angle connector which is fixed in place with a screw. You can use QR code or Creality website to find app or Android. The scanner connects to your phone via USB Type-C and it must be USB 3.0. You also need powerful phone at least 8G memory. And that's the end of the phone scanning because my phone isn't powerful enough and I have USB 2.0 connection. But I saw the app interface and it looks pretty nice and simple. Here are some recommended phones. It's not the end of this video and I will test the scanner with my PC which is powerful enough. I have installed the Windows app and here are some info which you can scan and objects not suitable for scanning. The software looks very simple and it's easy to use. Here you have some info on the left side of the window and there are options to change language in the right up corner. Next you can choose object type, size, feature, quality and if you want color or non-color scan. object I scanned first is the pumpkin man from my Halloween video. The software interface looks similar to the other 3D scanners I have used before. There are options to use the auto settings or you can adjust it yourself. There is the distance meter which you need to keep in the green zone. If your scanner lost track you need to move a little bit back and it's, it continues. It can add more redundant shapes to your model, but Ferret seems to handle the situation with any problem. I will just do a quick scan from the front side. I have completed the scan, now you can see the points which scanner captured. The easiest is to choose auto processing. It's done it. it looks good. The color looks similar to the original object and for the quick scan it has nice results. To make scanning easier you can use turning table. This scanner can quest the shape of symmetrical objects so you don't need to scan every side of it. It can be very useful or it can also ruin your scan. I use body scan for this tool. It didn't want to capture everything, some colors are mixed, but the results are semi good. The last thing I scanned is the sculpture, which could be the best object to scan matte white color with no shiny places. This one is the best scan I have done. It looks very nice, there are some small artifacts but overall good. The software is missing option to remove background, that would be nice add on. To do so you can use Mesh Mixer software. With Mesh Mixer you can change and fix your models. I will use Cura Slicer and Creality Ender 5 S1 to 3D print this scanner model and compare it with the original one. I used 0.1mm layer height to get the best results. There are some places where are some artifacts which is just caused by 3D printing. This model isn't made for 3D printing and I didn't use any supports. Printed one has less details but it's very similar to original one. I measure both models and the dimensions are almost the same. 
the CR scan ferret is a good 3D scanner. It is very easy to use and you can use it everywhere with your phone. The software could have some more options and features but it's alright as it is. There are definitely better quality 3D scanners in the market but with that price you haven't any of them. It is the best one in this price range. If you don't own 3D scanner but you would like to start scanning the objects, it's the one I would recommend for you. If you want more info about the scanner, you can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching.